This is uh, Grade 5, 2012 Sectoral Team Oral Competition. Uh, taken from the book Math Challenge Questions for Grade 5, pages 12 to 15. Okay. So for the 15 second round, we have 12 questions. Question number one. Trice what number is the same as the sum of 254 and 346. Trice what number is the same as the sum of 254 and 346. Go. Time's up. The answer is 200. The answer is 200. Question number two. RJ pays 6 pesos for a one-way ride to school. For how many two-way fares is 100 pesos enough? Again, RJ pays 6 pesos for a one-way ride to the school. For how many two-way fares is 100 pesos enough? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is eight. The answer is eight. For every, question number three, for every nine garlands that Lisa can make, Rose can make 12 garlands. How many garlands did Lisa make when Rose made 144? Again, for every 9 garlands that Lisa can make, Rose can make 12 garlands. How many garlands did Lisa make when Rose made 144? Go! Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 108. The answer is 108. Question number four. If I add five to one third of a number, I get one half of the number. What is the number? Again, if I add five to one third of a number, I get one half of the number. What is the number? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 30. The answer is 30. Question number five. The average of three numbers is 27. The sum of two of them is 50. What is the third number? The average of three numbers is 27. The sum of two of them is 50. What is the third number? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 31. 31. Question number 6. The volume of a cube is 125 cubic centimeters. What is its total surface area? Again, the volume of a cube is 125 cubic centimeters. What is its total surface area go time's up time's up the answer is 150 square centimeters the answer is 150 square centimeters question number seven What number is 20 more than the product of 11 and 13? 
Again, what number is 20 more than the product of 11 and 13? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 163. The answer is 163. Question number 8. Noni has 20 meters of ribbon. How many 40 centimeters pieces can she cut from it? Noni has 20 meters of ribbon. How many 40 centimeter pieces can she cut from it? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 50. The answer is 50. Five zero. Question number nine. What digits? Can you use to fill the blank in 96 blank to make it divisible by 6? Again, what digits can you use to fill the blank in 96 blank or 96 blank to make it divisible by 6? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 0 and 6. So you have two answers, 0 and 6. You have to provide the two. Okay? To earn the point. Question number 10. What are the prime numbers between 70 and 80? Again, what are the prime numbers between 70 and 80? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answers are 71, 73, and 79. 71, 73, and 79. Question number 11. If 6 over 7 is equal to 84 over n, what is n? Again, if 6 over 7 is 84 over n, what is n? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 98. Last question for this round. A vendor borrowed 15,000 pesos from their cooperative at 10% simple interest. If he paid the loan after one year, how much in all did he pay? Again, a vendor borrowed 15,000 pesos from their cooperative at 10% simple interest. If he paid the loan after one year, how much in all did he pay? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 16,500 pesos. 16,500 pesos. So that concludes the 15 second round. We now move to the 30 second round. We have seven questions. Question number one A bottle is 5 over 9 full of oil. Pete took 45 milliliters and it was then one half full. How many milliliters does the bottle hold when full? Again, a box is 5 over 9 full of oil. Pete took 45 milliliters 
and it was then one half full. How many milliliters does the bottle hold when full? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 810. 810. Okay, question number two. The sum of seven consecutive odd numbers is 133. What is the largest of them? Again, the sum of seven consecutive odd numbers is 133. What is the largest of them? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 25. The answer is 25. Question number 3. The perimeter of a rectangle is 64 centimeters. If the length is 4 centimeters more than the width, what is its area? Again, the perimeter of a rectangle is 64 centimeters. If the length is 4 centimeters more than the width, what is its area? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 252 square centimeters. The answer is 252 square centimeters. Question number four. A man left his house at 10.15 a.m. He reached a town 30 kilometers away at 10.55 a.m. What was his average speed for the journey? Again, a man left his house at 10.15 a.m. And reached a town 30 kilometers away at 10.55 a.m. What was his average speed for the journey? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 45 kilometers per hour. Again, the answer is 45 kilometers per hour. Question number five. The number of girls in a school is 702. If they make up 45% of the pupils in the school, how many boys are there? Again. The number of girls in a school is 702. If they make up 45% of the pupils in the school, how many boys are there? Go. Time's up. The answer is 858. 858. Okay, question number six. Write 5.625 as an improper fraction with the fraction part in the lowest terms. Again, write 5.625 
as an improper fraction with the fraction part in the lowest terms. Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 45 over 8. Again, 45 over 8. Last question for this round. Question number 7. A salesman receives a monthly basic salary of 3,500 pesos and a commission of 7% on all sales for the month. How much did he earn in a month when his sales was 245,500. I repeat, a salesman receives a monthly basic salary of 3,500 pesos and a commission of 7% on all sales for the month. How much did he earn in a month when his sales was 245,500? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 20,685 pesos. The answer is 20,685 pesos. Okay, we now move to the last round, one minute question round. We have eight questions. Two vendors together bought 325 melons for 5,850 pesos. One vendor got three-fifths of the melons. How much must be his share on the cost of the melons? I repeat. Two vendors together bought 325 melons for 5,850 pesos. One vendor got three-fifths of the melons. How much must, his, must be his share on the cost of the melons? Go. Time's up. The answer is 3,510 pesos. 3,510 pesos. Question number two. There are 15 more ducks than pigs in a farm. If there are 102 legs, how many ducks are there in the farm? Okay. I repeat, there are 15 more ducks than pigs in a farm. If there are 102 legs, how many ducks are there in the farm? Go.
Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 27 ducks and 12 pigs. 27 ducks and 12 pigs. Question number three. Rosa has 850 pesos. Jane has 215 pesos, less than twice as much as Rosa's money. Anne has 65 pesos more than Rosa. How much money do the three girls have? Again, Rosa has 850 pesos. Jane has 215 pesos, less than twice as much as Rosa's money. Anne has 65 pesos more than Rosa. How much money do the three girls have? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 3,250 pesos. The answer is 3,250 pesos. Question number four. A five centimeter cube is made up of one centimeter cubes glued together. How many of the 1 cm cubes are face to face with exactly 4 other cubes? Again, a 5 cm cube is made up of 1 cm cubes glued together. How many of the 1 cm cubes are face to face with exactly 4 other cubes? Go! Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 36. 36. Question number 5. If A is to B is equal to 4 is to 7 and B is to C is equal to 5 is to 3, what is A is to C? Again, if A is to B is 4 to 7, 4 is to 7, and B is to C is 5 is to 3, what is A is to C? Go! Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 
20 is to 21. 20 is to 21. Question number 6. What fraction is half of the sum of 3 fifths and 5 over 7? What fraction is half of the sum of 3 fifths and 5 over 7? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 23 over 35. 23 over 25. Sorry, 35. Again, the answer is 23 over 35. 23 over 35. Question number 7. Rose had 240 stamps while Anne has 260 stamps. How many stamps must Anne give to Rose so that Rose would have 50 more than Anne? Again, Rose had 240 stamps while Anne has 260 stamps. How many stamps must Anne give to Rose so that Rose would have 50 more than Anne? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 35. The answer is 35. Last question for this round and for this competition. Still for, four, for one minute. Question number eight. What is the difference between the sum of the first 25 multiples of 4 in 4 plus 8 plus 12 plus so on plus 100 and the sum of the first 25 multiples of 3 in 3 is 3 plus 6 plus 9 and so forth plus 75 okay again what is the difference between the sum of the first 25 multiples of 4 in 4 plus 8 plus 12 plus so on plus 100 and the sum of the first 25 multiples of 3 in 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus so on plus 75 go
Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 325. The answer is 325. So that concludes our grade 5 2012 sectoral. This is your quiz master, Dennis, saying good luck. Bye.